Hi cookbook friends, my name is Carrie. I'm with Cookbook Divas and today I'm going to look through this street food cookbook which is mouth-watering recipes for quick bites and mobile snacks from around the world. And I don't personally have a lot of experience with street food because I live in the suburbs and I eat at restaurants or off of food trucks, but let's check it out. This is going to be interesting. I also would be scared to eat street food from people I don't know because I'm vegetarian and I have two allergies, ginger and cinnamon. October 2020 this came out. It's brand new. It doesn't look like anyone else has checked it out. It's by Ryland Peters and Small. I'm not seeing an author's name. No, it's by the Ryland Peters team I guess. So the chapters are Introduction, Tastes of the Americas, European Cuisine, Flavors of Africa in the Middle East, and Asian Adventure and Experience India. Okay, this is going to be cool. Introduction, la la la. Truck. Oh, it is about food trucks. Oh, okay. I have eaten street food then because I've eaten off of food trucks. <laughs> Starts off with poke inari cups. Hawaiian raw fish. I've never had that and never will, but you could enjoy it. Mackerel ceviche with fresh rolls. Make your own. Dry rubbed pulled pork. Egg rolls. Now what I'm liking about this cookbook is if people can make this food on a truck, albeit a truck with a fitted kitchen, it's probably not that hard to make at home. Red hot buffalo wings, jerk chicken, beef burgers. Well, okay, we know how to make burgers. Okay, beautiful spices, picture, la la la. Corn, a lotus, chicken quesadillas, pork tamales. Tamales are a lot of work. Do you really want to make them on a food truck? Okay. Fish tacos. Now we're going to move into European cuisine. Patatas bravas. I love patatas bravas. Whenever I go to a tapas, tapas restaurant, I try to order them, but they're spicy. Or the sauce that comes with them is too spicy. Pizzettes. Perfect food truck. Sausage rolls. Who doesn't love a sausage roll? I use tofurkey hot dogs in mine. Curry chips. Mm -hmm. Sole goujons and chips. Hmm. Why don't you just say fish and chips? Corned beef and sweet potato pasties. Deep fried white bait with lemon. Oh, they're so tiny. They're so little. Hmm. These pictures are awesome. Okay. Chicken and seafood paella. I am not making paella. I don't have a pan that big. Hell no. Halloumi and za'atar fries. That looks good. Filled crispy phyllo rolls. That sounds like a lot of work because of the phyllo. Nordic open sandwiches. Now that I like. Probably my Scandinavian heritage. Potato cheese and chive pierogi. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, and Bulgarian cheese bread. I have never heard of such a thing. How is that possible? I need this right now. I need to go turn off this camera and go make it. <gasps> what is this? Soka or Soka? I'm guessing it's Soka. Did we change countries? I don't know. A cross between a pancake and a flatbread, soca are made from graham chickpea flour, olive oil and water, and hail from Nice in the south of France. Well, you will see them being sold straight from the oven. Oh, nice. Okay. We did not move continents. Now we are in, why am I seeing pistachio ice cream? I gave up trying to find what chapter we in. I don't even know. Deep fried mussels in beer battle with batter with garlicky walnut sauce. Saffron garlic chicken kebabs. Okay, we must have moved to the Mediterranean. Spicy carrot and chickpea tagine. I don't own a tagine, but you can still make it. Baklava, make your own. Is that a street food? An Asian adventure. Spring rolls. I like to make my own because I'm vegetarian. Vegetable tempura. I like to make that too because it's fried. Sushi. Little instructions. Traditional prawn dumplings. Vegetable clamshell bao buns. Salmon and spring onion gyoza. I know how to make all these. I took some cooking classes. They are a lot of work. Beautiful photography. I love this book. Twice cooked tempeh. Crispy garlic chive chicken wontons. Nice. Okay. And yakitori glazed mushroom and chicken skewers. Chicken laksa. Ramen with tempura prawns. Okay, let's move on to India. Here we are. Oh, pad thai. We're still in Asia. Mung bean vegetable noodle soup. Hey, India barely gets any pages. Pulled tandoori lamb coffee roll. Chana dal fritters. Yum. I love fritters. Don't we all? Courgette and onion bhajis, i.e. zucchini. Ooth 
the palm vegetable pancake. Kali dal, dal meaning lentil. Kofta masala. I like to make that myself because I can control the spice. And of course they have a mango and mint kulfi, not a lassi. That was street food. That is super cool. I'm now starving and want to go make things out of this book like the Bulgarian bread. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews, follow Cookbook Divas on your favorite social platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. And please be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Click like and comment something nicely on our videos so that the algorithms learn to show more of them to you. Thanks!